Well guys, what's up? Hope you're all well. Um, so I'm going to show a cool song, a Foo Fighters song, and it's called uh, My Hero. And um, I think it's off one of their earlier albums, but it's a really good song and um, has a cool, the chorus is cool in it and um, has a few little different things going on in it. So it's really good practice and it's fun to play. Um, it's not too difficult, but it is a challenge to put it all together and have it all fluid. That's the hard part. So please like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already, and share the videos. So um, I'm going to get stuck straight into this song. So when we start this song, the way I've seen him start in a few different ways, but <coughs> excuse me, the way I like to start it is with this little riff. So what he does is he pushes in the first box, or the first box, sorry, he pushes in the fourth box of the second string, the B string, and he plays the B and the E together. Now I always use my middle finger for that B string, so he plays them both together, the second and first string. Then if you put your third finger on the fifth box of the same string, the B string, and play them together again, then back off and play them together again. So it's one, two, three. And then after that, what you're going to do is just drop your middle finger down to the third string, same box, fourth box, and you're going to play down, up, down. And try just hit them strings. You can hear I messed it up there, but you can, if you just hit them strings, it sounds clean. So it's... And that's that little intro riff, and he does that after the chorus as well. So after he does the little chorus riff, he does that as well. So that's your intro. So right from here, you're going to go to an E major chord, okay? So you're going to go first finger on the third string, first box. Middle finger on the fifth string, second box. And third finger on the fourth string, second box. And that's an E major shape. So. So E major, and you're going to go down, down, up, down. And what I do is kind of slide the third finger along here into the next shape. So I slide that up to the sixth box and I bar down the fourth box with my first finger from the A string down. This would be like a C sharp minor chord, something like that. So down, down. So E minor, E major, down, down, up, down. And when I get to this chord, I'm just going down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So E major, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I just keep playing it like that. Now, the way I like to do it is the first time I'll do the E major. And this time, I'll just play that like that. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the second time, I'll go E major. Then down. So down. Then you're going to put your pinky on B on 7. Now, you don't have to do this. It's just an option. So. So down. Then I put it on again, down. And when I take it off this time, I put my middle finger on five of the B. Up, down, up, so. So I hope you can see that what I'm doing there, so. Now you don't have to do that, but I like to do it every second time. So the first time is normal. I just cycle it like that. So the first time's normal, the second time I do that. Third time normal, fourth time I do that. And it makes the song sound really nice. So E, C sharp minor. E, C 
shot my you know. And you're going to do that the whole way through the verse. And um, if you're getting stuck anywhere in this video, guys, I try to say it in all of my videos. Don't just keep going. If you're getting stuck, go back to exactly where you were confident and you knew what was going on. And then just follow from there. It's not a rush. So, what's wrong, Snoop? Snoopy's restless. <laughs> so, um, it, yeah, it's not a rush. You just take your time and learn each section as you want. So that's the verse done. It basically just keeps doing that. Alright, so when we get to the chorus, guys, what we're going to do is you're going to block all the strings. So what I do is I block all the strings from the D string down with my first finger. And I'll do it here on the sixth box. Okay, so I'll do it on the sixth box. And I'll block the E string with my thumb. And what you're going to do is play it. So it's just down, up, down, up. But that A string is left ringing out. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push in the A string on that sixth box. And you're going to push in the G string with your pinky on the eighth box. Now you want everything else muted for this as well. So your first finger is doing a lot of muting. And I use the tip of my first finger to mute the E string. So that's muting that. And then... So all you're getting is them two notes. Now this might take a bit of practice, but you will get it. And what you're doing is going... So, from the start, so down up, down up, then you're going to move that shape one box, down up, down up, so it starts on six and eight, then seven and nine, then you're going to go up to nine and eleven, alright, so the A string first, just ringing out, Two, three, four, then then you do it again. From here, we're gonna just mute all the strings now except for the E. So our first finger is just gonna lie over all the rest of these strings. And you're gonna go. So down, up, down, up again. Then we're going to do the same chords again, very same thing. Very same boxes. We're going to do it again. Now this time changes a little bit. We're going to do the same chords. Right. And now we're going to go back down to two and four. Excuse me, so all together here is what we have, right, for the chords. Now the E part. So we go up here, then the second time. And then it all repeats one more time. Watch him as he goes. Now the second time when you come down here, you're gonna play this little riff, okay? You're gonna go. So middle finger, okay? Two, two on E. So one, two. Then you're going to play four on A. Two on A. Two on E. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Two, two on E. Four, two on A. Four on E. And then five on E. So two, two, four, two, four, five. Four, 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 or two, two, four, two, four, five. And 
if you can try getting with them fingers, guys, it will help you. So middle, middle, pinky, middle, pinky, pinky. And right from there, right? He goes back and does this little riff again from the very start of the song. And it'll lead you back into the verse. Right, so guys, I know I flew through that, but like I was saying before, if you're getting stuck, just keep rewinding it. That's the trick. Keep going back and looking from where you were comfortable. So do it all in sections. It's all about learning little bits at a time. That's how I personally learn songs. I learn the first 10 seconds of a song. When I have that, the next bit, the next bit, the next bit. By the time you get to the end of it, then you'll know the whole thing. So what I want to do now is show you the second chorus. Or the last, no, it's something that he does right at the end of the song. So he goes. So that's normal, normal. And then when you're finishing the song, you can do this. It's a nice way to finish it. And all that is, right, is when you get to the B part, or the E part, excuse me, you'll go after 9 and 11, you'll go up to 11 and 13. And you can play the open string with that if you want, it sounds nice, so. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> So you can see that open string sounds okay there with that because it's the so right um that's the whole song basically that's everything that's in it so it's just a matter of you learning them bits and then trying to play along there's brilliant video of dave Grohl playing this on um on um the i can't think of your man's name now it's one of the radio djs in america but Howard Stern, he's playing on the Howard Stern show and it's a really cool version of it that he's doing just with an acoustic guitar. And uh, that's basically exactly what I'm after showing you. It's all the bits out of that version. And um, it's really nice to practice. So what I'm gonna do now is show you just my right hand. I'm just gonna play through the different bits just so you can see what way I'm strumming it. So I'll just turn this and get a good angle for you guys. So, so I'll go from the first little intro, right? You're just doing down strums really. And then down up, down up. And then you're into this the E major. So I'm just keeping that rhythm going. So it's just over and over again. You're just keeping your hand flowing. And now we go to the chorus. And 
that's it guys so thanks very much for watching uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any um, requests songs that you want me to do give me a shout in the comments and I'll try my best to get them done for you thank you